Hey, this is Violent Purpura. I'm going to teach you how to color on um, Corel Paint Shop Pro Photo. I already have one set up right here, so I'm just going to delete it all and show you how to color it in all the way from the beginning. Okay, so I set it off by scanning in just this picture of a couple of cartoons I had. And just let me delete this stuff, and we can start from the beginning on how to color in this image. Okay, so first we just have the regular scanned image. So what we're going to do is duplicate that. See, duplicate, we got two layers of it. See, it's the exact same on both things. So we're going to go back to the bottom layer, and we're going to insert a new raster layer. Okay, don't worry about these settings just yet. I'm just going to call this one skin to start it off. Okay. There we go, we have this raster layer called skin. I'm just going to pick a random color right now. I'll just pick a red or something. And I'm going to start drawing on this. Let me just increase that. Okay, you see, I'm drawing on this, but it's not showing up, right? Yeah, big problem. Okay, yes, yeah, so, see this raster layer? See, the red comes up on it, but it doesn't show up through. So I'm going to go to the duplicate layer, and I'm going to go into properties. Let's scroll over so I can see this. Okay, this is the area where I got the red. So we're going to go into this um, drop-down menu right here, and it's got a whole bunch of different options. See, I'm going to show you a couple. Okay, you see there are a whole bunch of different options, like screen, overlay, these aren't really what we want. This is just so you can do different examples. I'm not sure if you can really see what they are. This one's called Screen. And, um, like, you'd think when you see Screen it would show through, but no. It took me a while to kind of play around with these things in order to find it for what we really want. Okay, but the screen you want to use is called Multiply. Let's see if I can find it. Yep, yeah, multiply is right here. See, it lets the color show through, but the black stays solid. I found this one to be really good when it's just uh, black and white, like a coloring book page. So I'm just going to erase this red stuff. There we go. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to go into the paintbrush tool. I'm going to pick up a skin color. Um, I'm still on my ra uh, my raster layer called skin. I'm just going to color this in. You don't really have to be too careful. As long as you stay within like the black lines, you're pretty good. Oh my gosh, the screencast started to freeze. Uh, yeah, this is a really crappy software. Look at all that mess on the screen. Okay, well anyway, just color it in. As long as you stay like within the skin area, it's okay if you color over the eyes and stuff. As long as you're like in the general area. We can always touch that stuff up later. Doesn't really matter. Okay, and let's see. If you want to add another rest layer, just go ahead and add it, and you can call it whatever you want. Let's call this one hair. It's good to add another last raster layer for every color you're going to do, so that way you can just edit them separately. And you wouldn't have to worry. And you can erase them separately without erasing each other. So it works out pretty good. So just color this part in. Like I said, don't have to be too careful. Now this is just using the paintbrush tool. There are other art tools, like the... But that's art media, like the colored pencil and the crayon. That's something totally different. That would open up a art media layer, which is... You can still use with this, but it's just kind of complicated, so you're better off just sticking with the regular paintbrush tool. If you're not really experienced with computer art and stuff. It takes a while to get used to this stuff. There we go, I've done a second raster layer with a different color. I'm just gonna color in the whites of the eyes while I'm under hair. 
because I'm planning on doing hair and eyes maybe the same color. I'll white in the mouth too, why not? Okay, now I'm going to add another raster layer. I'm going to call this one eyes. I'm probably just going to do like the eyes and the mouth in this one. Okay, I'm going to resize this. You can actually resize it a lot faster by using alt and then dragging the mouse point. It's a lot faster than going up to the resize tool. And if you have the little scroll thing on your mouse, you can zoom in and out. I found that really helpful. There's the teeth. Undo that. Add the tongue. I mean, this can be just for like more than manga. This can be really anything you want to use this technique. I'm just using the lighten tool to add like depth to it. Oh, by the way, you have to switch to the layer with the color that you want to lighten or darken. You can't edit the skin's darkness while you're under the hair raster layer, that won't work. So that also really helps too, to have different layers so you don't darken the wrong thing. Yeah, you use the left mouse, pl mouse click to lighten and the right mouse clicker to darken. And there you go, that's how to color in.